it's beginning to look a lot like Grinchmas. Hi guys, welcome back to the desk corner. Welcome to the annual Grinch video, which you may not know about if you have not been here since last year, and a lot of you guys are new, but basically every year I like to create a new Grinch artwork and I've been doing this for a long time. So I'm going to show you guys my previous year's Grinch artwork and some other fun Grinch merchandise that I have. I want this to really be the Grinchiest Grinch video that I've ever made. And then we're going to create a whole new Grinch piece for the year of 2021. And I'm really excited you guys to get into that. But first, I am also very excited to announce this video is a collab with Naomi Couture Art. Sorry if I butchered your last name, Naomi. I believe it's French if I'm not completely out of line, um, but her channel previously was called Naomi C Art, so you guys might recognize that name. She has had her channel for maybe a little bit over a year now, but I discovered it when she was doing a Christmas card watercolor series last holiday season and that was really fun to follow. But Naomi creates a lot of real-time live streams and like paint along with me, draw along with me type videos, and also she does more sped up videos as well. So there's a lot of diversity on her channel. She sometimes does tutorials too. She really actually uses a lot of different media. Um, but I would really love for you guys to go check out Naomi's channel. She just reached a thousand subscribers not too long ago, which is super, super exciting. She is also doing a Grinch video, and this is so exciting. We are both creating the Grinch. I'm so excited to see what she comes up with. And yeah, I haven't seen it. We decided to keep our Grinch drawings or paintings or whatever they are a secret up until the videos come out. So I'm just really excited to go check out hers. I will link everything in the description box down below. And yeah, you guys definitely need to check that out. And thank you, Naomi, for coming up with this idea to do a Grinch collab together. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, that was the intro. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the old Grinch artwork that I've done. And I have shown these in videos on my channel, I believe, last year, but again, I didn't have as many subscribers as I do now. So a lot of you guys might be new, and a lot of you probably have not seen that video. Um, so this is one I did in 2014, a really long time ago. Before I even had, like, Prismacolors, I believe I did these with, like, Crayola or something on printer paper. And this was my very first Grinch drawing, so this is the OG, the one that started the tradition. Then, we have a drastic change here. The next one I did was four years later in 2018, and I think this is my favorite Grinch drawing that I've done. So this was a mixed media piece, watercolor pencil as a base layer, colored pencil on top, marker for his hat, and all of the like detail that I did here I believe was in gel pen or maybe white acrylic paint, but this was definitely a very mixed media piece. Okay, so that was 2018. And then this one is also labeled as 2018, but it's actually a year later. So I believe the previous one was 2017 and then I finished it in January 2018. This one I did in December of 2018. This was a new Grinch movie that I didn't watch, but I thought he looked like a cute character, so I drew him with Polychromos. Next, we have 2019. I decided to do an alcohol marker Grinch because I was running out of ideas with all the Grinches I had done before. So here's my alcohol marker Grinch. I believed I used Copics maybe. Another alcohol marker Grinch that I did last year. This time I decided to do the whole tree with the ornaments on top and his dog is included. Uh, Max, right? I think Max. And I like how this one turned out. This was kind of like an expansion of what I did here, right? So this one is more cartoony and I wanted to make this one a little more 3D while still staying true to the cartoon. So those are the two alcohol marker ones. And before we get started creating a brand new Grinch, because obviously that's the most exciting part of the video today, I had a few fun Grinch things I'd like to show you, so I have a little collection. Here is my Grinch mug, and then to go along with that, I have this, which is for when you're cooking and you put like the little spoons and things on the side, and this is supposed to hold it, so it's like a little kitchen collection. I also have this Grinch ornament that I made with acrylic paint pen or acrylic paint marker. I kept it. I actually gave away a lot of these as presents last year, and this year I just bought this. It's a cute little Grinch ornament, and look, he's even holding a present. So this is also for the tree. 
Isn't he adorable? Oh, and finally I do also have a little like plush Grinch, which he's he's kind of like in the middle of my decor right now, so I'll just show you guys a quick photo of that. Without further ado though, let's jump right into the 2021 Grinch artwork. Yay, I'm so excited. And the big reveal is that I'm using watercolor for the 2021 Grinch. And I'm excited to see if Naomi chose to use watercolor or if she used a different medium altogether. I have no idea. It would be funny if we both chose to use watercolor though. I guess we'll have to find out. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of cold pressed paper, which is my preferred paper. So I had to use Arches Hot Pressed, which I find to be a little bit difficult if I'm being honest, especially because I wanted a wet on wet background. So you'll see me go over in several layers and get that wet on wet look and really darken up or deepen up some of those colors. And it was really a struggle for me to do this on hot pressed paper, especially because I'm just not extremely experienced with it. Um, but in the end, I think I really like how the background turned out. I wanted it to look kind of like snowy and stormy and magical. You'll see me using watercolor pencil, my Albrecht du Rares, at some points to create those details in the eyes, nose, mouth, and even some of the lines on the Grinch's face, but just a little bit I had to cheat because I'm not great with a detail brush, you guys. Um, but for the most part, I used my Senlier watercolor set to paint this entire piece, and I'm happy with it. I think it looks a little bit messy in the beginning stages, but you guys will really see it come together in the end. And I am pretty excited to see what Naomi ended up doing and what medium she ended up using because she does use a diverse range of media. I didn't mention it in the intro because it was getting very long, but um, her channel, she has a lot of videos doing watercolor paintings, watercolor pencil, colored pencil, pastel pencil, pan pastel, ink, just all sorts of things, unboxings. So definitely check her out if you are into a diverse range of media. Now the most color mixing I did for this piece was creating the Grinch green, which I created using brown pink. And I have the 48 set of Sennelier's, so I shouldn't be complaining about color mixing at all. But I used um, brown pink mixed with a bit of forest green to create a true Grinch green color. And then what I did to get those deeper greens was I mixed in some bright red with the forest green, which will deepen the green and create just more depth to it and this darker shade of green. However, you have to be careful with that because you don't want it to turn too red if you're trying to get a green color. And so I did that for a couple of layers, really trying to create that contrast that's hard to achieve with watercolor in my opinion. And I had to be careful with water control as well because if your brush is seeped with water or like, you know, if it has too much water soaked up in it, then your layers are going to come out kind of light. They're going to dry transparent because there's more water than pigment. So I had to be very careful with that. And I think that my first layers honestly were so patchy. Oh my gosh, look at how bad the Christmas hat looks at this point. It looks so much better in the end, you guys, but look how bad it looks at this point. I used bright red for that too. Oh my gosh, just so streaky. And I find that on hot pressed paper, the first layers look a lot more streaky than on cold pressed paper, but it could just be my inexperience talking. Another challenge I had was leaving those white areas white. You gotta leave your whites white when you use watercolor because unless you want to go in, you know, with gouache or something on top later, which is gonna create a really bright white, if you want to leave highlights, you just need to leave them because you can't go on top with white watercolor the way you might do with acrylic or something like that. And so I was really trying to preserve those furry areas of white, which was kind of difficult. And then I deepened up the red by adding forest green to it. What do you know? Um, this was harder though, because this would sometimes create, I don't know, just like this ugly muddy color underneath. But you know, the more I messed around with it and the more layers I added, it actually turned out just fine. Oh, I'm laughing because that area that you see me working on right now was such a struggle. I had to go over it many times because it was so streaky and you don't want to overdo it with watercolor either, but I really had to go over that area and fix it a lot because it was just a mess, you guys. Now for the white fur, so you can't leave white completely white or it has no depth. So I watered down some black to a gray 
like a warm gray and I added some shadow into that area. I tried not to get too dark. Some areas had some darker shadow, but I tried to preserve the white as much as possible as well and just give it a little bit of depth. And yeah, because it was pretty bright in the reference photo. And there you see me adding another layer to the Grinch's hand. That part was a little hard too. And we're gonna go back and work on the face now with my watercolor pencils. And I guess that was just for a brief second. I went back and tried to fix the arm again. <laughs> so we're getting towards the end here, you guys. I hope that you liked how this Grinch turned out. I had fun doing another Jim Carrey one. I did believe it was time because it's been quite a few years since I did that other Jim Carrey Grinch. And so I believed it was time to do another one like this. Um, I used a gel pen to create some detail because I'm guilty of doing that all the time. I used some gouache to create paint drops like snowflakes in the background. And yeah, I just added a couple more details to this and that's about it. I will show you guys the finished piece now. And here's the finished piece, you guys. I added a couple of little details to it. Here is my finished 2021 Grinch. What do you guys think? I am so happy I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and actually used watercolor because I've done so much colored pencil artwork and I'm very comfortable with colored pencil artwork. I want to step out of my comfort zone and try new things, um, especially because I've done so many Grinches and I did alcohol markers two years in a row. So I thought watercolor would be perfect for this year. I want to know what you guys think of the Grinch. I don't know, this one might be my new favorite. I actually really like how this one turned out. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to get them all into the shot, but we have these two cartoon Grinches. So we have cartoon Grinches and then we have Jim Carrey Grinch. So here's the cartoon Grinches. I really like the sequence where he's under the tree, so that's why I did that one twice. Um, the very old one, of course. And we also have this one, which I think is my favorite Grinch. I mean, this was my favorite Grinch, and now, I don't know, I might say the new one is my new favorite because it's a different style. This one's very realistic, and this one has that watercolor look that I really wanted to achieve. This one's definitely still more bright and colorful because it is colored pencil, so I'm able to get more of a bright effect. And this one is a little more, yeah, it has that more watercolor feel. I don't know, I can't really choose between them. I really like them both. Oh, and then of course this one, which I never saw the movie, but here is the other new um, animated Grinch as well. What's your favorite Grinch, you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. I really like the Jim Carrey Grinches. I think they turned out great. Um, but yeah, thank you guys as always so so much for watching today's video. Thank you Naomi for collabing with me Don't forget to head over to her channel now that you finished this video and go watch her Grinch video Which I'm very excited about and check out her channel and thank you guys as always so so much for watching I will see you in the next video. Oh also, if you have any Christmas video ideas you want me to do this year, let me know because I'm kind of out of ideas. I did cards last year, ornaments, all sorts of things. I've already done the Grinch, so I'm not really sure what else to do. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!